Slumline, welcome back. Well, we have got a brand new theme for you. We're going to have such a great time over the next four weeks learning about all the amazing things that God has given us to outwork our faith, meaning how can we follow Him in our world. And this theme is called Let's Go! And we're going to learn about some incredible things. So are you ready, guys? Okay, let's go! <laughs> Okay guys, how cool is this? This week on Kids Online, we are learning all about worship, what it means to worship God. And it says in Romans 12 verse one, it says that our lives are a living sacrifice to God, which means that our life and everything we do is a sacrifice of praise to our God. So as we enter into worship, why don't you jump up on your feet and let's get ready to worship God. And then we're gonna talk about it a little bit more later on. Are you ready? Drum roll. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> da, 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 da. My hope it has a name, the reason I believe. And it's written on my heart. It's flowing through my veins, just like a melody. Gives me faith so I sing Oh, here I am, come take control I want your will, not my own If there's one thing that I know It's that my God will never let me go Oh, oh, oh I know my God is always in control Oh
so this month guys our theme is let's go can you shout that with me let's go and we're going to learn about some amazing things that god gives us in his word for us to follow him and to be more like him so each week we're going to have a let's go dot 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 and something else so this week it's let's go worship and i know how much our kids online love to worship and soon we'll be back together gathering in our church has been able to worship god together in kids church and we are so excited to do that so as we prepare this this month to return we are going to look at what the bible teaches us about worship then another week we're going to learn about prayer and worship and how to be a great friend to other people so i'm going to read a verse to you and it's in the book of john and it says this it says god is spirit it says those who worship god must worship in spirit and truth Hmm, spirit and truth. You might think this verse, what does it really mean? Well, this verse is teaching us that God is asking us to worship him firstly in spirit, which means using the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us. And also in truth, which means from our heart. So when we worship God and we sing songs about how good he is and how faithful our God is, we do that because we know that is the truth about him. And that is what we believe. And because we love God so much, we want to worship him because of our love for him. So we are going to look a little bit more throughout this episode about worship and what does that mean for you. And maybe you have got some favourite worship songs that help you bring you closer to God. Maybe there's songs that you love to have playing around the house or in the car or maybe on your headphones that really make you feel close to God. And that's what worship does. Worship brings us closer to God because we get to lift Him up. It reminds us to focus on Him and how good God is in our lives. And you remember earlier on, I shared about that verse in Romans 12, verses one, which says that our whole life is a sacrifice of praise to God. So that means not only are our singing voices worship, or is it worship when we lift our hands, our whole life is worship. So that means when you are kind to someone at school, you are worshiping God by being a kind friend. When you are praying, you are worshiping God. When you are being faithful, when you're being helpful, you are worshiping God with your whole life. How cool is that? God takes everything that we do as worship because that is who he is. He is such a good God. So guys, are you ready to worship? Let's go. Okay guys, we are gonna do faith in 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna have a go and then I think I should give you guys 30 seconds this week and see if you can share some of your favorite worship songs, what you love to worship God and the reasons why you love to worship Him. Okay, are you ready? So I'll go first and then it's your turn. So there's gonna be 30 seconds on the clock for me and then 30 seconds on the clock for you guys at home. So don't be scared. I wanna hear everything that you love about worship. Are you ready? Okay, let's count down to mine. In three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I love to worship because it means I get to give God my praise. I get to sing about how good he is. I get to love people. I get to be a good friend. I get to read the Bible and know reasons why. Why do I worship God? Why do I love to worship him? Why is he a good God? I love that. And also we learned that we worship God in spirit and in truth, which means that we worship him because he's a good, faithful God and that we can lift our hands, we can jump, we can sing, we can do so many things to show God our praise. Whew. Okay guys, it is your turn. Are you ready? 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Good job. What else do you love about worship? Let me know guys. Okay, can you tell me your favorite worship song? Better yet, can you sing me your favorite worship song? Very good. Excellent. Time is up. Well done guys, give yourselves a round of applause. Well done guys, you have done awesome. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. So let's go worship. <laughs> Okay guys, let's pray together about everything that we've learned today. And maybe you can spend some time this week writing your own worship song and even just sharing your love for God through prayer, through letters, through drawings, however you feel best, express yourself this 
week. But let's pray together. Okay, and you might want to put your hands together. You might want to close your eyes, but the prayer will come up on the screen. Okay, let's pray together. Dear God, I thank you that I can worship you in spirit and truth. I thank you for being such an amazing God who I can trust and that you take care of me. In your name, Jesus, amen. Good job, guys. And I pray that today has really encouraged you in your faith and in your worship of God. Okay, we know how much our kids online community love our memory verses. So we are gonna continue with our memory verses this month. And why don't you let us know if you enjoyed it, if you've learned it, maybe you can share it with a friend, a family member, but most importantly, we pray that when you learn these memory verses, that they help your life, that they help you in times where maybe you feel sad or maybe you feel lonely, and they remind you how much God loves you and how good His Word is for our life. So, saying that, are you ready, Kids Online, for this week's memory verse? And it's gonna be the verse that we looked at in our Word today. And maybe you can explore this and you can talk about this with some of the grown-ups at home today and talk a little bit more about what does that mean for you. So it is again in John 4 and it says, God is spirit. Okay, we're going to shake it up. I'm going to read the verse and I want you guys at home to repeat it back to me. Okay, are you ready? God is spirit. Those who worship God must worship in spirit and truth. Okay, should we do it one more time? Are you ready? God is spirit. Good job, guys. Those who worship God must worship in spirit and truth. Good job. And that's a great way to learn Bible verses is to repeat them and to maybe repeat it a few times. You can maybe write it down. You can think about it. And the Bible talks about thinking on the things in the, of the Bible, meditating on the Word of God. So if you're struggling to remember them, then think about what does the verse mean? And this week we learned that worshiping God in spirit and in truth, it means worshiping God for who He is and being motivated by our love for Him. And that's the reason why we give Him all of our worship. That's the reason why our whole life is worship. Does that sound good? Let's go worship. Well, that is the end of this week's episode of Kids Online. I hope you guys have had a great time. We have loved having you with us. So make sure you come back and join us next week. We have got so much more planned. And come back for our series, Let's Go, and we're gonna explore some amazing things about our faith. As people who follow Jesus, we're gonna know more and more about what the Bible says, about why we pray, why we worship, why we sing, and so many more things. So come back and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye. and welcome to Kids Online. I am so glad to be back, are you? I hope you are. This week is gonna be really fun. We're continuing with our Let's Go series. So, let's go. worship. If you were here last week, you would have learned all about worship. So why don't we jump up on our feet and let's get ready to give praises to God. Da, 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 da.
った Got a feeling deep inside my soul Nothing in this world comes close I was driving, I'll give you control This is love, great love Hit the bottom but your grace came through Found me broken, made me new All the praise I gave it all to you This is love, great love This is love, the greatest thing I've ever known This is love, I just can't get enough I just can't get enough When you found my soul, love hit me like a lightning bolt. Jesus, you're my own. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. This is love. This is love. Set inside my veins Yes, I know that something's changed Found the dream of living in your grace This is love, great love This is love The greatest thing I've ever known This is love I just can't get enough I just can't get enough going to get into the Word of God. Last week we learned all about worship but this week can you guess what we're going to learn about? Hmm I wonder what it could be. Well it's prayer. Yes this week we're going to learn about prayer and I love prayer so let's find out what prayer is together. We're going to look at a Bible verse which comes from 1 John chapter 5 and we're going to start in verse 14. It says we can come to God with no doubts. This means that when we ask God for things and those things agree with what God wants for us, then God cares about what we say. God listens to us every time we ask him. So we know that he gives us the things that we ask from him. And that verse tells us that we can come to God with anything because he wants to listen to us. Yes, he wants to listen to your voice. So you can go to God and tell him anything. You can tell him about your day. You can tell him about anything that's going on in your life, what you're happy about, maybe what you're sad about. And he will listen to your prayer and he will help you. 
I love to pray for that exact reason. I know that God will listen to everything that I have to say and he loves to hear my voice. So why don't you give prayer a try this week? Ooh, Faith in 30, maybe my favorite part of Kids Online. It's always such a challenge. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds on the clock to put into practice what we've learned today. Well, let's go in three, two, one. Okay, so what did we learn today? We learned about prayer and what is prayer? Prayer is a conversation with God. Hmm, how do we pray? Well, it's just a conversation. We just talk to God like we talk to our friends or to our family. And where can we pray? Hmm, we can pray on the toilet. We can pray in our bedroom. We can pray on the kitchen table. We can pray at school. We can pray when we're walking to the shop. We can pray anywhere and everywhere because God is always listening to us. He is always there for us. He wants to listen to our voice. He wants to listen to your voice. So why don't you pray this way? Ah, my time is up. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so why don't you pray this week? All right, kids, now we're gonna pray. I want you to think about something that you want to pray to God for this week. We're gonna say prayer together. It's gonna come up on the screen. There's gonna be a little space. And in that space, you can tell God whatever it is that you want. Okay, let's go. Dear God, I pray that this week you help me with Thank you that you listen to my prayers. Amen. Today's memory verse comes from Philippians 4 verse 6. I'm going to try and memorize it and maybe you can memorize it with me. Okay, it goes like this. Do not worry about anything but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks. What a great verse. It tells us that we can bring anything, all of our worries, all of our fears to God, and he will listen to us. Isn't that great? We've come to the end of Kids Online this week. I hope you've learned a lot about prayer. And remember, prayer isn't just for this week or today in Kids Online or in church, but it's for the rest of your life. So remember to always pray because God is always listening to you. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.